Hey everybody, Frankie Day here. Okay, fellas, uh, this Sunday evening I have video number two for my personal build of the Ravel 132nd scale Arado 196 float plane, the B model. Uh, as taken from the last video, uh, the lodge draws, the interior details is all complete and ready to install inside the fuselage. And uh, so thus far in the construction of this here kit, the fuselage uh, has been buttoned up with the uh, lodge draws inside. Horizontal stabilizer and the rudder has been installed. The whole motor assembly has been painted and has been installed along with the cowling. Uh, incidentally, folks, on the cowling here, I decided to go ahead and um, close off the cowling, only leave only one inspection panel open only so you can see the engine itself. And I believe from the front end of the cellar head right here, uh, with the front end of the, uh, of the engine open, you'll see pretty much of the engine. And um, it'll. Uh, Reveal a lot of detail there in that respects, and uh, so therefore, folks, uh, she's going together quite well. I no, no fit issues at all. This kit's pretty well, uh, pretty well forward. It goes together quite well. You just gotta look at the uh, instructions, look at the model, and get a get a, a good basic feel how it goes together, and everything. And um, so. She's all been primed and ready to go, and uh, so next uh, next next video will probably be um, maybe just Tuesday. I'll have the wings and everything of the airplane in its entirety, and uh, so I'll just go ahead and have that installed and have it uh, primed and ready for painting. And all that for the float and some of the other details and the windscreen. So uh, hopefully I hope you have this thing done by this Friday evening. And uh, then I'll go to something else. Uh, incidentally, folks, I bought some new software. I think it's called Studio uh, 18. It's this right here. It's right here, folks. I bought this. This stuff costs uh, about $129 worth of software. I know there's free stuff out there on the internet. I went on uh, Movie Maker on there and uh, well, I loaded it up for free virus. It's free, you know. Well, I got something else I didn't want to bargain for, so I got a virus for my computer. So I got stop sign, which is my antivirus protection for my computer. So I scanned it, found about five or six viruses caused by that uh, by window maker. So be careful out there, fellas. I think along the window maker it came with some other stuff, came with it too. I wasn't aware of, so that's probably how it got in there. So it's all been cleaned and deleted, and it's out of the picture now. So. Peter's healthy and clean and running strong, so anyway, I went down there to Best Buy and they sell a lot of electronics and uh, technological stuff for computers and such. I went down and bought that software and it works quite well, so right now I'm trying to get myself familiarized. So I'm, I'm going to do some experimentation, folks, as the video goes along until I master the software, then I'll be able to uh, make my videos a lot more better than they have been since I, <laughs> I've been on YouTube over a year now. So it's time to move on to uh, better, uh, better videos and what the bland and the blando videos I've been given lately. So uh, I, incidentally, folks, during the construction, this here model that I did to it, to it at the present state it is as of now, I took some stills, some picture stills. So they will be added on on the end of this here video. So stay tuned for that. So it will run all together after I close out the video. The stills will, will come in and the video will eventually be will shut off. Well, anyway, folks, I'm going to edit that in my video. So, anyway, guys, um, it's going together quite well, this airplane is, and I'm very happy with it. Anybody's got this kit in their stash, uh, they'll find it uh, very satisfying and very rewarding to build. It goes together quite well. The novice should have no problem as long as he has a couple of models under his belt and uh, likes to uh, challenge himself to a to more parts and more uh, options and you know, better quality kit. Okay, folks, uh, we'll swing the camera over here. We'll take a look at the Mario Rado and uh, we'll take a peek at it and then we'll come over here and uh, bring the, finish up the video with yours truly. And I got some goodies I want to show you what I got over the, over the couple days. Okay, fellas, uh, let's go over here and take a peek at the Rado here. See what's shaking here. Okay, folks, right here is as about as far as I got here construction-wise. <clears throat> I've got the um, stabilizer in place, the rudder's all been in place, been added. Fuselage has been uh, 
put together. There's no filler at all, folks, on this thing. Really, no, no I'm serious, no no filler at all. No no bondo, no nothing. The parts go together quite well. What I did is I go ahead and, and uh, apply now my now favorite glue choice is here to my Yexithin, which go, it has capillary action. You can see the plastic ooze now, let it dry. When it dries, you take your, your, your favorite sanding stick of choice and sand and sand and sand you go along and you buff off with a, a nice buffer right here it's nice and smooth and shiny it will buff it off if there's any scratches present which i did with that stick right there and uh no uh no filler at all folks uh it goes together quite well without filler so that's a good plus for this kit and uh i like the way that is a three-piece of fuselage assembly on this here kit here you got the bottom belly plate right here which goes on that there saves yourself from the filler. The only thing needs to be filled is right around here. And it's, uh, it's pretty well pretty well filled, uh, blemish free. And um, so it's gonna make painting quite easy, folks. This is all gonna be completely, uh, it's gonna be completely um, all light olive drab. I'll tone it down pretty much with the airbrush. I like to keep the weathering on, that, on this very subtle. And uh, that'll be that, folks. And uh, so I got, uh, right now, I want to give her another prime job. I want to make sure things filled in real good. I've got the inspection panels in front of the cowling right here. It's also on top of the cockpit. All but covered with my with my favorite uh, a masking agent, a toilet tissue, which works really quite well. But I've been doing that for decades, and it serves me well, and it works good. And it's still good. And uh, so it works quite well. I want to preserve and keep all the detail nice and crisp and clean without no overspray. Okay, fellas, that's about it right here on an update number um, number two on the Arado. Hopefully by this Friday I should have her done. It looks like this thing's a pretty fast build kit. You just wants to make you keep on going, don't want to stop. So after this video, I'll probably be working on the wings next and get that ready to go. And I'll be probably give this thing another blast of primer on it. Make sure it's sealed up good. Other than that, folks, it's uh, it's at the stage how I how I've got it as far as up the update on it. So that'll be that, and uh, that completes video number two of my Arado. So please stay tuned. By this Friday, I should have video number three, and you'll see the progress. Uh, the progress will go quite well. So by this Friday, I should have her done, and Tuesday I'll have another video of this. And um, I should have it done by this Friday, folks. And anybody's got this kit, like I said before, it's a very beautiful kit, guys. It's uh, Ravel did a very fantastic job on this airplane. You know, uh, from my commenters that uh, they commented on my last video, they said, "Frankie, you gotta give yourself two kits, you know this, you know. One, you can build it its entirety as this one is. Number two." Get the same kit, make some cutout parts like that, you can show the interior. Which is a pretty good, uh, I'm going to think about that very much, folks. But only one thing about it is, my hobby shop where I go to, even even Smitty's, I could probably get it from Smitty if I see Russ down there. You'll probably order me one. But they're kind of harder to find, they're kind of hard now finding on the, on the, um, all the hobby shops now. Like, like, Bell's, like most companies do, they make so many of them. And they quit making them for a while, and they uh, seem to fade off the shelves for a while. Then a couple months later, they come back and bring back the same kit with a different decal option on it and everything. So, that's close stuff as we, uh, any other kit you want to get to the same thing. So, it uh, works for me. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll bring a swing of video over to yours truly. And uh, I'll show you some goodies I got here. Okay. All right, folks, that completes uh, number, video number two of my Arado. And uh, I went down to two places yesterday. That way it was, uh, it was Friday. I went down Friday, went out of the hobby shop, broke down, bought one of these. This is a balsa wood kit. This is probably going to be a future uh, build I'll be doing pretty soon again. It's not a balsa wood job of the willows. This is a willows kit. It's a balsa job. Rick Topton's famous DR-1 triplane. And uh, this is a wonderful kit, guys. It's a state-of-the-art kit. Instead of having the old-fashioned 
press press uh, press dies that that press out your wood on, on your on your sheets. Because one thing bad about those folks, they crush the balsa. It makes it very 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 hard, and a lot of model builders uh, shy away from these kits is because of the of the old uh, dies and uh, die machines that that cut your parts out for on your on, for your parts. So they got a new state of art now. It's called it's called laser cut. So this kit down now is new. It's the new laser cut kit. It's all laser cut right here. It's got a logo there that says laser cut. So all the parts from been uh, previously cut we're using the laser, which is a state of art. It makes my job easy. And uh, no fuss and no muss over uh, crushed parts due from a very, very bad die cutting that they use on on a lot of their kits. Anyway, wingspan this job is about 21 inches. Fuchsia's length is about 15. It's a good size airplane. With today's electronics, you just put a small electric motor in this thing. You, can, you got these small little small S36 servos you can get. This is you make this thing fly just like the real one. I've seen them on YouTube. I've seen a few fellows took this here kit and made a four channel uh, flyer out of it. And man, you would not believe how good this thing flies. So me, I'm a roll fashion rubber powered man, so I'm old school. All I'll do is add a little, little dehedro to the wings and she'll fly like a turkey vulture. Okay boys, we'll put it back over here. Here's what I really enjoyed. On down the Hobby Lobby. Again, I can't stress any more than I have to, folks. Hobby Lobby is a must place to go. It's got stuff there that that'll, that'll lure the modeler into buying things. Everything is there. Anything that you got to do with armor, ships, aircraft, auto mills, anything to do with modeling, they got it there. They even got wood parts like wheelbarrows and little figures like that you can put on your model boats and such and I don't know what scale they are though but uh, whatever scale that's pretty close to it it's, it's very usable to get and uh, I went down to the painting department now I went and got me some acrylic paints these are all water based I got these this is a uh, 18 tubes this is all acrylic now it lists for $14.99 but they have a special sell on this. I got it for five dollars. It was my day. I'm sure glad I ran into these. So anyway, these are good for washes. So you got to use a little bit of this for some water. Use for washes. Make sure it's applied on a gloss finish only. And once it's all dried, take take a, a clean rag or some tissue, and uh, clean it off as much as you want to bring out the effect you need for washes. So I assume that these washes will work just as good as, it, as what's out there. Uh, it may not be flory, but uh, it's close enough. I'll make it work. So anyway, folks, go down to Hobby Lobby down there. You'll find a, a very, very ambient supply of, uh, of wash, of uh, acrylic paints, oils, enamels, water finishes. There's nothing that store don't have, you know. Gosh, I was, I was really, every time I go in that place, I'm, I'm more and more amazed at what they have. And uh, it keeps you out of the hobby shop, especially for buying paints, like I said, bu buying brushes. And I want to buy a whole bunch of brushes right there. I got, I got duplicate sets. I think I paid $5 for two, for, for two sets. And they list for uh, $12 a set. Which are the cheaper brushes though, but they, 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 they those are the brushes I, I need. And, they, and they're all horsehair. And they, uh, they'll keep their shape and rigidity for a long time as long as you keep it good and clean. Okay, enough of that, folks. Uh, so anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless. I'm out of here right now. And uh, so please stay tuned. On Tuesday, I'll have another video on my Arado. Uh, I'm going to start on the wings right after this video. And I'll give another coat of primer on there to make sure that's, that everything is uh, pretty well blended into how I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Better drive for the night and construction will resume. So, Tuesday, I'll have another video of this, folks. And hopefully, by this Friday, I should have this done. Because, like I say, this, this is going to be a fast build, it's going to be a fast paint job on, too, because it's all light olive. And the floats are all aluminum, so I got my special aluminum paint over there that I mixed a long time ago. And I'm going to use that on, on the uh, floats. And the rest is going to be an OD. It's going to be a nice, beautiful airplane. Get finished with her. 
Okay, guys, I'm out of here now. I'd like to thank you again, one more time again, for tuning in. Make God bless. Make Mama happy. Happy modeling. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. So stay tuned this Tuesday for video number three of my Arado. And uh, happy modeling. We'll catch you boys later. See you. Bye, fellas. Thank <laughs> you.